Hello, what's up? Hope you're doing great. We got some back uh, with another recorded tutorial. This is a tutorial for a beginner who wants to start and coding. So we start with creating a donut with a really easy stuff. So let's start. First, create a donut and make it a bit bigger. Oh yeah, it looks okay. Take it on floor level. Go on the right view, duplicate it, hold control, or just press hold control and C and press control V. And here we have it work one and two. So we just rename it as ice. I don't know if the ice is right or not. Now we change it to editable mode. Now go on polygon mode <coughs> and select half of it. Make sure you can uh, check this tolerate and uh, tolerance selection. That is the way. Now you have half of your donut. So what you can do here next thing, just right click and select magnet and make it a bit smaller. Your brush size. Do like that. Always click on surface. So here we go. Like this. Like that. Go on that. Side. Like this. So here we go. Don't worry about this uh, intersection. We need to fix it later. So, so that's looking okay for me. So next thing we do, we just um, hold a control and press A for select the all this polygon. Right click and add smooth shift and make it a little bit bigger, like 3.12 offset. So as you can see here, we can't find any intersection. Don't worry about this. Uh, really bad look, so we take it now. So, as you can see here, we just have 3 cm offset. So, next thing, we make it look better by adding a subterranean surface. So, as you can see here, it's looking really nice. So, you can work on it for give them more details. So, I'm not gonna work add any detail, I'm just showing you basic. So, I click, we need to fix some here. As you can see here, so there is some intersection. So, there we go. So, that's looking okay for me. Now, next thing what we're gonna do here, we need to add a token on it. So, how we can do that, we just add a capsule or cylinder. So, use a capsule. Make it a little bit small. Really, really small. Like this. So, we're gonna make it like this. So, it's looking okay. We just click on our torus and press S for our view. So, as you can see, it's really small. Make it a little bit big. Now, here we go. Now, we add a cloner. Hold out and add cloner to our capsule. Now, go in cloner and change mode from linear to object add your subterranean surface topping here like that as the object as you can see here you can see some kind of topping just on count and increase the count of add too many just depend on you so next thing just add a mode graph factor called random so run from it just uncheck the position add rotation and just add some rotation from that side so now it looks more natural so you can work for shape from the inside but it's okay for me if you want to do that so you can do it but it's okay it's looking great for me now we create a we apply a, some random color so what we can do here click on random go in your random effector tab and here you find color tab change to a uh, effector color as you can see here it gives you a nice rainbow color so change blending mode from the whole to add or moving this black so as you can see here it looks more natural to me so Next thing we create a plate for our donut. So how we can do that? So we just take a supply to a uh, supply pan. So we just do it like that. There we go. Like this. So, yeah, we just, it's not looking really correct. We make it a little bit more clean here by adjusting it. Now we give them smooth look like we are uh, click on this point and Press Ctrl A or give them jump a little bit bevel look. So you can see here, but don't add these last two. Just unselect it, no jump for. There we go. We fix it later. Okay, it's not look good. So now we just add a lace tool. So as you can see here, you get your quick lace. So I'm not going into detail to so make it look really good. But I hope I need to go there. So what we can do, we just uncheck our lace. We hide this lace. So it's really thick. We make it a little bit smaller like that and here we go make it thick from there so here we go so now we just check the paint and then the whole it's not looking good but it's just for big we beginner so we're going to in our next tutorial so, so as you can see here you can play for the subterranean Give them, give them more let's work okay there we go now we have our complete plate so let's do it from the height so what we can do now just make it like that so our plate is ready now you 
can add material, so we can create a new default material for our topping for our icing so we can get a chocolate look so red towards here so there we go now we have reflection and reflection internal from the electric so add a little bit softness and uh, now we just add a little light so I don't render it properly so I'm just showing you how you can model <coughs> simple model inside the so it's really quick and we just check the type, shadow type from area and from area so as you can see here this looks pretty well but it's not look that great so what we can do here we just add sky so i don't have i think any hdr in it right now so go to inside and go on desktop i can see them we use this one this looks pretty good so if you render it now as you can see here there is a more detail but it's too Reflecting now if you render it. And you can see here, now it looks a little bit fine for me. We just add a global illumination, and if we hit render, let's we'll see how it looks like. Okay, that's looking great. We add a material for our donut toe, so fill them with a bit uh, of white color. There you go, now we add a little bit bump on it, so we just use a noise, a regular noise here. So, as you can see here, it's too much so uh, we keep them a little smaller and go in your material tab and add more time now it's rendering so let's see how it looks like that looks okay now time to give the material to our plate it is looking too big so but it's okay we keep them just in one white look reflectance remove add reflection and there we go going type electric color and there we go Go in luminance, add some um, subsurface catering. We'll give them a marble look or porcelain. So we just use a marble look. So now go, if we go in light, so we just uh, uncheck this compute GI contribution. We just uh, add this light in blue. And there we go. That's the noise look like. And that looks pretty clean. So let's take the uh, okay, it that way. So what we can do here, we go in icing and uh, like a magnet one. You know. So give them more random look. There we go. It's not looking that strong, but it's okay. Now that's looking okay for me. But not that much. We get a magnet. Now we have our donut, so let's take it a little bit up from our paint, I think. Let's see how it looks from this, from this location. So, so it's looking okay for me. So you can play around uh, these settings for more awesome looks. So. It's not about rendering, it's just about uh, how to create a donut. And it's really simple and easy, you can play around. I also uh, did the project file, so link, link on the description. So thanks for watching, bye bye.